Hello everyone, Jay here, and today we are playing Deadly Premonition 2, A Blessing in Disguise. I'm very excited about it. Uh, all I know about it is that it takes place in Boston and in Louisiana, and okay, subtitles are on, so that's good. And uh, you also play as York. Uh, so that's all I know. I'm excited. I already did this intro once before. Let's get into it. December 30th, 2018. That might be loud. Is it gonna do it again? Okay. It doesn't seem like it's being picked up by my mic, so that's okay. What was that? Oh, shit. Well then. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, let's start off, huh? Ah, oh, God. 88 hours later. Thompsonville, a sub suburb of Boston, Mass. God damn it. What a way to start the new year. At this rate, I'll be dead okay. by Easter. I have to turn it down a little Quiet bit. down, Agent Jones. You're on the clock. Quiet Simon down. Simon Jones and Eli what was it? Elia Davis. Okay. any idea what you've done? I'd be half naked in Havana right now if you hadn't shown up. Soaking up some rays. Okay. By a I can't turn her. Queens, a like I'm pressing right and left, and she's and just a moving forward. slathered Havana-style pizza in the other. What did I do to deserve this? Does God hate me? No. Yes. The regional bureau chief merely <laughs> issued a special order. <laughs> oh. Yeah. How could I forget? A special order to rob me of my well-deserved so vacation. You want pizza? I'll buy you some pizza. You can find that junk anywhere. I can't Whoa. turn hey. her anyway. Hold on. What did you just say? Pizza is not junk. I agree with that. Pizza is a sacred food. Oh. Whoops. Agent Jones, don't let him take control of the conversation. The moment you let your guard down, he'll strike. <clears throat> What? What are we getting into? And no red, remember? I'm already interested. It's open. Come on in. Oh, the name. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Oh. Oh. Time has not been kind. Well then, how did he get that scar? Oh my god. 
You have questions for us. That's why you're here, isn't it? Wow. <laughs> no, you're still... Wait, can I? Nope, okay. Thought maybe I could move around. She has a boo-boo on her finger. Mr. Morgan, before we question you, allow me to first read you your rights. Anything you say may be used against you in a court of law. Please keep that in mind as you speak. I can't get over how he looks. This? Hmm? Don't worry, my fairy. They're free to do whatever they like. Something wrong, Mr. Morgan? <clears throat> How's the audio if I'm anybody FBI is in here watching? Davis, and this is Simon Jones. An analyst from the Boston branch. <clears throat> He's been monitoring us for years now. Hope it's all right. Oh, Hope that there's no uh, echo. Hi. Seriously. A southern bell and a lonesome loser who can't catch a break. Quite the uncanny duo. Man, what happened? <laughs> He'd be the perfect stars for the latest video game. Oh, oh. Isn't that right, my fairy? <laughs> Dark laughter. How many years has it been since someone came to chat with us oh but don't ask me about my fairy that's a private matter is it york it's hard to tell what he's thinking but my eyes can't be deceived if he's hiding something it'll come out in his face Ooh, okay. Francis Zach Morgan. Yeah. That's him. He was once an FBI special agent, an extremely <clears throat> talented one. At least that's what they tell me. Perhaps he was a little too talented. Why? Whoops. Letters of appreciation from the governor and the Department of Justice. They're caked in dust as if he doesn't even care about them. I mean, honestly, doesn't look like he cares about much. This smell. <coughs> it doesn't surprise me at this point, but it'll be problematic in court if they decide his testimony is unreliable. I won't get another chance to talk to him face to face like this. I need to get him to stop smoking that for a bit. Is there anything else over here? Uh, inspect, I guess. You solved many <coughs> difficult cases across your career. Utilizing your own unique M.O. You've expertly cracked cases that were otherwise thought to be unsolvable. <coughs> According to our records, after joining the FBI in 2002, mm -hmm. you quickly solved two drug ring-related kidnapping cases. 
In 2003, you solved the inside-out Flesh Skinner case in the suburbs of Pittsburgh. In 2004, the Jeffrey yeah, Dahmer wannabe case in Milwaukee. Sorry, the mic is picking up the TV's audio. And also the stuffed human collector case in St. Louis that very same year. <clears throat> then. Then? In 2005, you coincidentally happened to solve the Lee Clarkson murder case while on vacation. Oh. You went on to solve many other cases after that, all of them seemingly inexplicable. Did you really solve these cases all on your own? He did. I saw one of them. There are no records of you using a wide-scale investigative team or working with anyone else. Wait, what? <laughs> How did you ever accomplish such monumental feats all by yourself? It was all thanks to our talented partner. 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 The FBI files <laughs> show no record of you ever working with a partner. Do you mean you worked with some sort of unofficial partner or an outside confidant? Our partner is not partner. We've always worked together. Besides, Bill, you're forgetting one important thing. After the St. Louis case, we stopped by a diner on our way home and caught Thelma and Louise, two highly sought after <laughs> fugitives. <laughs> All right, visions. You're going to use visions to acquire important hints that will help you proceed through the game. Held. Oh, yeah, held. Hold L, which is this button right here, to use vision. Using a vision will deplete your concentration, so be careful about using it too much. Interesting. Excuse me. Hey, Bell. Excuse me again. Why are you just... dressed so handsomely? Not agreeing with me tonight. Was that a pizza pizza there on that dusty table? What are you talking about? The thick black accessory wrapped around your neck. The tie? That's a male necktie. And? The color black represents confidence and interest in the self. And your decision to wear a male tie symbolizes your declaration of war against a predominantly male society. Zach, it's also 2018. Or perhaps it's a psychological barrier. Meant to hide the weakness that dwells deep within your psyche. We admire your bravery. I thought you retired from profiling. <laughs> Bullseye, huh? You're an easy one to read. In order to think with society, a man must first gouge out his eyes and cut off his ears. <laughs> Don't judge a book by its cover. For someone who's supposed to have been one of our best, you've got an awful eye for people. Or did all that smoke and kill all your little gray cells? Okay, Aaliyah, that's enough. Damn. She's smart, but she's also more of a shrew than she lets on. She a killer shrew? Agent Jones. That's sexual harassment. <laughs> yeah, Simon. Cut the shit. So, Bell, does that barrier of yours also protect <clears throat> you from violent criminals? Oh. <laughs> Zach, what happened? 
He's more dangerous than I thought. I can't read him. I'll just have to assault him head on with questions then. First, I'll try using the files on the table to shake him up. These files are from the case that took place just outside of New Orleans in 2005. The agent who handled the case was Francis Zack Morth, and now he's sitting right in front of me. Do you remember the homicides that took place in Lucare, Louisiana in 2005? We... solved that case. Your report states the following. By coincidence, you encountered a serious incident in a town you visited while on vacation. You then decided to steal the right to investigate from the local law enforcement and took over the case. After several more homicides, you managed to apprehend the perpetrator. Yes. Yes. Yes, that's exactly what happened. We stole the right to investigate from them, just as you said. It all started when the body of a 16-year-old girl was discovered. Hold on, I'm just checking something. You all right. arrived in Lucare immediately after that, didn't you? It's awfully quiet, <laughs> like in the chat. More quiet than I expected. We just can't seem to keep ourselves away from dead girls. <coughs> Did you really visit that town just to take a vacation? We don't know. If you already have the report, then we suggest you read it, Belle. Either way, that case is closed. Closed? You sure about that? Don't you think this puzzle is still missing I'm some so, crucial pieces? I'm so, like, sucked in already. <laughs> Come on. No need to beat around the bush with us, Belle. They found Lise Clarkson's body. It was hidden deep within the Clarkson Food Delivery Service's cold storage warehouse. After 14 years, we finally discovered the body of the very first victim. How the fuck? After 14 years, they finally found her in the back of a pantry? Like a freezer? Do you know what this means? That's why we're here. <clears throat> Excuse me. The first victim in the case he solved. Lise Clarkson. This is a photograph of what she looks like now. How will he react when he sees it? <laughs> York? Hold on. The body that went missing for 14 years was suddenly discovered frozen in a warehouse. Frozen in a warehouse, okay. This is some kind of message. From the... Alright, York? I need you to... Look at this photograph. We're pleased that her body turned up. Deeply pleased. You claim to have closed this case, but now a lost body suddenly surfaced. Aren't you curious about the details? Body or not, we already solved that case. It's so dusty in his room it's literally bothering me <laughs> i've mentioned it before i clean houses for a living this is bothering the fuck out of me <laughs> there's so much fucking dust <clears throat> excuse me lisa's body can't change anything now and it certainly has nothing to do with us. I suspect the body was stored there rather than abandoned, due to the unnatural state it was found in. 
She was found frozen in a storage unit. Therefore, she looks exactly the same as she did when she disappeared. Mm -hmm. In fact, she's in such good condition that we can even determine the murder weapon and cause of death. Okay. Well. <clears throat> Excuse Good me. For you. Even stranger is how unbelievably beautiful she looks. <laughs> Thank you, Beowulf. Beowulf blood. There, just did it. Thank you. At first glance, few would guess she was a murder victim at all. She looks more like a piece of art or a <laughs> mythological figure from a painting. Time to drink in water. <laughs> This keeps getting better and better. Better and better? Isn't that right, my fairy? A corpse as beautiful as a goddess. Yo! Sounds just like our story. Hmm. <laughs> yes. Yes. Zack. What happened? That went okay. Now I'm sure that Morgan's hiding something. Someone needs to slap that dude's shit. Dude, I don't know what happened to him. I may be able to get what I want if we go deeper <laughs> into the documents. This is not the character I know. He loves dead bodies. I know, but like, it's just. <clears throat> so, he's the first guy. So, all right. So he's the guy we played at the end of Deadly Premonition One, and I don't know what the hell happened to him. <laughs> he was not like that. Well, might as well look An at this. An ornate antique chessboard. And ask him about it. Looks like he stopped halfway through the game. But who was playing with him? That chessboard looks rather old. And you can't even buy those ivory pieces anymore. Right. They were banned by the Sites Treaty. Oh. That was made in yeah, right? France Just in the 1900s. Bit. <laughs> We know it's in bad taste, but the weight of the ivory just feels so good in our hands. You play chess alone? Is that a crime? No, <laughs> but it's a hard game to enjoy when you're all by yourself. True. He's probably just replicating famous games. Or trying to solve problems from a chess workbook. Right, Morgan? I may not look it, but I'm actually what a bit of a What is up with all those milk myself. containers? When I was in school, I used to pore over every issue of Chess Life, the magazine published by the U.S. Chess Federation. Well, unfortunately, your guess is completely wrong, Agent Jones. Oh. He isn't replicating a famous game, nor is he solving workbook problems. Yeah. There isn't a single chess book to be found in this apartment. Okay. And I didn't find any chess-related <coughs> websites in his internet history. <gasps> he was simply playing chess. All alone. All alone? So... I keep forgetting What's that I have to hit that bell. the button. Replace that man's monitor. It's too old for gaming. <laughs> Dude, look at all the dust in this place. I was just going on a rant about it. I don't understand it. How could a single human being seriously play as both sides? You don't know him, do you? You just publicly confessed to stealing personal data. Seems like that's a much bigger problem. Oh no. Everything was done in a perfectly legal manner. We simply happened to intercept a handful of data being sent out from an unknown origin. 
Uh oh. Ooh, now she's really trying to scare us. What the hell happens, Zach? Did you hear that, my fairy? Serious nightmare fuel. Right, die. Holding down the wrong button. Okay. Uh, that one. Isn't there someone else you should have talked to before coming to us? Such as. We were unable to reach Patricia Claxon. I'm so interested in what's happening. You look surprised. <clears throat> I thought you already knew. Excuse me. After all, you visited Louisiana last week. We assumed you met with her during your time there. Give me one second. We haven't been to Louisiana. Not in 14 years. Okay. Is that so? We've been right here in our apartment this entire time. That man is our witness. Aren't you, Simon? He's right. Oh. He didn't even take a single step outside on Christmas Eve. Which means that I didn't get to either. <laughs> Are you positive about that? I took the liberty of checking some airline records. Oh? Last Friday, the name Billy Bishop was listed on a morning flight out of Boston. Wait, Billy Bishop? Billy Bishop. I know that name. Billy Bishop. This is the Whatever. fake name you used to use as an <clears throat> agent, isn't it? Oh, maybe that's why. <laughs> A mere coincidence. Yet that's not all. That evening on the same day, Mm -hmm. A man with a large scar on his forehead allegedly purchased an 89 Cadillac from a small used car lot in Lucare. Oh. He reportedly said he wanted something old, big, and strong. The owner of the car lot felt it was a strange order, so it stuck in his mind. <laughs> Our world is filled with mysteries. And they always have the most bizarre timing. What is going on? Incidentally, <coughs> excuse me. On the following day, an identical Cadillac was taken to a scrapyard in Trenton. Trenton, New Jersey. You can find that type of car anywhere. <laughs> Isn't that right, my fairy? <laughs> This is so, like, I'm so baffled. You may be wondering why we decided to unearth all these old files. Everything happens for a reason. I want to know what's going on. <clears throat> the moment Lise Clarkson's body was found, we did the best we could to start our own local investigation. But there wasn't much we could actually investigate due to the damage caused by the hurricane. Then we assume you also questioned everyone who worked in the warehouse. Of course. We questioned all the Clarkson Food Delivery Services employees who staff the warehouse and its owner. <laughs> but we still have yet to obtain any key testimonies. Par for the course with a 14-year-old case, if you ask me. Mm. Not to mention how bad the timing was. Most of the employees were on vacation. Oof. So, 
You gave up on the investigation and came to see us instead. <laughs> Remember what happened, my fairy? That warehouse, that man, so incoherent, such a pain. Hey, are you talking about the guy who managed the vault where Lisa's body was found? Yeah, I think he started working there in 2005. Remember, Aaliyah? You said he was a pain <coughs> to deal with, too. Excuse me. I have this feeling that I'm going to have to play that chess Large game. Large man, yes. Hmm. No need to answer. If you don't want to, I'm sure you've already put him under surveillance. Textbook FBI protocol. Morgan's right. Everything <coughs> happens for a reason. It's a large man. I wonder if it's Forrest Kaysen. There must be a reason for it. Especially when it comes to those strangely tidy spots. They're practically begging me to question them. <laughs> this room's a total mess. But certain spots look perfectly clean. Is it just a coincidence? Mm. No. There are no coincidences with this man. DVDs are all over the place. I know that he's a shut-in, but this still seems like way too many for one person. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Yeah, <clears throat> way, way too, way too many for one person. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I've never heard of any of these titles before. Stage four progressive malignant tumor. Oh. <clears throat> How do humans behave when they know death is just around the corner? And what if that human is also a high functioning sociopath? Jesus. Mr. Morgan. I found several spots in this room that look strangely clean. Did you tidy up a bit because you knew we were coming? Those are sanctuaries. Mm -hmm. They've existed from the start. Sanctuaries. Sanctuary! That's right. Sacred places. Hovels for people. Were there originally objects in those hovels? <clears throat> Something you didn't want us to see. I was moving controllers. The soul's still there. <laughs> we haven't touched a thing. But we know you can't see So anything. many pill bottles. <clears throat> hey, Simon. Don't touch the sanctuary. Uh, s sorry. <coughs> That's a sanctuary. Don't ever touch it again. You've been watching us for four and a half years, and you couldn't even figure that much out? Uh, my wow, bad. Four and a half years, they've been watching him. It's my first time actually coming inside, you know. <laughs> You're earning far more than you deserve, then. What were you doing all day in that oh, black suburban? Me. We thought wiretapping was your specialty. Don't tell me. Crossword puzzles. What do you think, my fairy? Four and a half years. All that time. Crossword puzzles? No way. Come on, I thought you knew. I'm a Sudoku guy. Agent Jones. Oh, right. 
<laughs> He's completely taken control of the conversation. At this rate, we'll never get anywhere. I need to press him some more. Agent Jones. The briefcase isn't even that big. How long does he intend to keep that up? <laughs> does he have pizza menus stuffed inside there or something? Agent Jones? Did you find the files? Finally. <gasps> Greenfield! Mr. Morgan, do you recognize these files? Do ya? Oh my god. Are you serious? Whoa. Ow! We told you. That's a sanctuary. Let him go! Oh boy. Assaulting an FBI agent is an obstruction we told of you. justice. We told you. Go. Ah. Stay back. Stay back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't mean to laugh. Oh, he's all red. <clears throat> Mr. Morgan? Cut my finger with that can opener this morning. I thought I stopped the bleeding, but it seeped through. How could I be so stupid? Everything should be fine now. I'm sorry for being so careless. I made sure to read through your file and learn about your condition. The color red. Such an unusual thing to fear. Please, accept my deepest apologies. I, I'm sorry too, Morgan. I don't know what I was thinking. I'll never touch one of your sanctuaries ever again. And no more red, either. <laughs> Ever touch one again. I told them not to. Why would they do that? Make them now, may we return to our discussion? Oh, don't worry. I won't let them touch it again. I'll keep them away from us. Strangely enough, this man has a fear of the color red. Sorry if you heard me gasp. I almost knocked over my water bottle. <laughs> and I believe that fear is connected to the Greenville case. Soon after Agent Jones started monitoring him, he was ordered to go through Morgan's trash. Mm -hmm. But he didn't find anything. Morgan used this machine to cut up everything, from his mail to his supermarket oh. receipts. Then he even went as far as taking out his trash in parts. Interesting. Here's another empty space. What does the word sanctuary really mean to him? Why are they triangles? I keep thinking it's pizza, but... Hovels for pure souls. The files on the serial killings that shocked Washington State in 2010. Officially titled the Greenvale case. Yeah, it's been only been eight years. What the hell happened? Never thought I'd take out files from a case I first heard about on the news.
Mr. Morgan? <coughs> I'd like to ask you some questions about this case now. We don't want to remember that town. I'm sorry, but there's no way around this. I remember hearing about this case on the news when I was still a student. A high school girl named Anna Graham was murdered and the FBI stepped in to take over the case. I also remember it becoming a sprawled investigation due to evidence found in the victim's throat. Is that correct? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. After that case, you went on sick leave for two years. And when you returned, you requested to be switched over to desk work. Oh. What happened? That's a <clears throat> private matter. None of your business, Bill. Were you traumatized? Review, recycle, reuse. That's what that says. Okay. Hmm. It's a common problem with prolific agents such as yourself. But there's another possibility that may make more sense. Oh? Perhaps you simply finished making preparations. What are you getting at? Yeah, what are you getting at? Thinking too much about something <clears throat> will always turn it into a problem. The Greenvale case. Don't you think it resembles the Luke Carre case? Oh. Read the report. We have nothing else to say. I just need one more push. One more thing that can summon up the past. Clock and trash, honeycomb and jar. A jar of honey with honeycomb inside it. There's nothing strange about it, but it still gives me a weird feeling. Looks like another old antique. He collects milk cartons, but treats valuable antiques like trash. Why? What's going on in his head? <laughs> picture of a leaf. A picture of a leaf. We're this isn't just that. a picture of any leaf. It's the most important leaf. The belief in truth begins with the doubt of all truths in which one has previously believed. It's time to get down to business. That's the one. Mr. Morgan, please look at this. What did we just say? Look at it! We don't want to remember Greenvale. This isn't a photo from Greenvale. Look closely at it. Former Special Agent Francis Zack Morgan. This photograph predates Greenvale. It's from the Lucare case you worked on in 2005. Oh, five years before, Red. okay. Red tree. Red tree. Mm-hmm. Yes. A red tree. Greenvale wasn't the first place you saw one of these. The Greenvale case and the Lise Clarkson murder case. <clears throat> They're connected. Excuse me. By these red trees, aren't they? I would imagine. Red trees. Both places. Growing. Roots. Seeds. Trees. Answer me. What are these trees? Red trees. I want the truth. Tell me everything you know. <laughs> the red trees. Dude, I'm like so hungry right now. You really did your homework. Well done, Belle. You're good. Damn good. Ooh. Oh, shit. Mm. Are you ready to talk now? 
I want to know what went down in Lucare in 2005. <sighs> Fine. We'll tell you what happened in that town. Yes. It was that red tree. That red tree ruined my life. Uh -oh. It was... <sighs> it was a sultry summer day. The sun comes down hard on you in the south. Like a torrential downpour of <coughs> demonic whispers. It all started back in that sweltering summer. We still had our best friend with us back then. Oh. The other me. <laughs> My better half. Oh. Zach. Oh, here we go. Here's the intro. This is like the second trailer that they put out. Like announcing the release date. It's such a good song. You can't turn away. You're their only lifeline. Just a hero. I love this video. Like this intro. Oh shit, that was 45 minutes or 46 minutes. <laughs> Sneaky snake. Oh, that was. That's some underwear, too. <laughs> that shot. Hell yeah. Apparently, this band did a song for Sonic Racing. I'm sorry, I don't remember the sexual stuff or, you know, the dancing and the underwear in the uh, trailer that I watched. Yeah, no, it's different. Wow. This is pretty what the <laughs> This is pretty awesome. Holy shit. Oh yeah, sweary. Zach. So pretty. Zach. Can you hear me, Zach? I can hear you loud and clear. <coughs> Excuse me. There you are, Zach. <laughs> Sleeping again? Well, rise and shine. It's time for us to head back out into the chaos. Hell yeah. Isn't that right, Zach? Yeah. Let's go, let's do this, York. Oh, I was like, what? <laughs> Summer 2005. 
Vacare, Louisiana. <gasps> Little Robin with a hook. Zach, it looks like she wants us to join her for breakfast. Perhaps this town's finally starting to warm up to us. <laughs> yes. Oh, they kept the smile. I love it. Look at that, Zach. She's welcoming us with open arms. She's even willing to share that tasty morsel with us. What an honor. Hurry up and chow down, mister. Unless you like your breakfast stale. What an amazing place. I've been on top of the moon since the moment I got here. And the name of this wonderful town, Lacare, sounds like French to me. But what does it mean? I'm the chef, Dave. If you want to know about the town, you'd better ask the concierge. Only amateur chefs flap their gums about stuff that ain't food related. <laughs> okay. All right, David. Did you hear that, Zach? He's a true professional. You say something, mister? Uh, no, not to you. I was just talking to Zach. Zach? Uh, please don't <laughs> ask me about Zach. It's a private matter. If you say so, still. Never thought the FBI would ever come out to a little old town like ours. I do work for the FBI, but I didn't come here for an investigation. I just happened to stop by on my way to New Orleans. <sighs> Never thought there'd be a murder out here either. And it was a 16-year-old kid. Now I tell you, this country seen better days. What you reckon, mister? Zach, he's definitely a professional. But it seems like he's also a bit lonesome. <laughs> That's good. Ambivalence exists everywhere. <laughs> oh, shit. Folks say the killer the... used an axe. Hell of an old fashioned choice, if you ask me. Uh huh. Actually, Chef David, if you don't mind, I'd like to ask you a few questions about the incident. Well, shoot. I ain't the one you ought to be asking, Mr. FBI. I only heard what I heard, but seeing as you're fixing to grill me, I can tell you what I know. Please do. I appreciate it. Okay. You said the victim was a 16-year-old. Did you know her? Well, sure. I reckon the whole town did. Meaning? She's Lise Clarkson, the little grandbaby of the Clarkson family. I feel like I'm going to accidentally just skip over something. The Clarkson family? That's right. You ain't seen they sign on your way in here? The one above that huge coal storage complex. Oh. Should have had a dragonfly on it. Anyway, that's the Clarkson family seat. Interesting. They own most of the land around here. From the sugar plantation right down to the food processing plant. Yeah, I reckon they got a stake in just about everything. They even own the water tower on the edge of town, you know. They're the ones who built up this town, and they still support it. Okay. What are the local law enforcement doing? Is the local law enforcement investigating the case? Sorry, I'm just checking to see if everything's all right. Everything working. Looks like it. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot, mister, what you... <laughs> Sorry, Liza. It's all right. Now, I told you this ain't no city. We in the bonafide boondocks here. They got to know how to break up <clears throat> fights and keep folks from killing each other when they piss job. They 
sit down and talk it out with you heart to heart. And when that don't work, they just beat your ass. That's the Deep South for you. This murder ain't like that, though. A little kid got killed. A weird way. Like something on a TV show. Oh, really? The Sheriff's Department ain't never seen nothing like this. What do you know about the Clarkson's house? Now, I ain't got nothing bad to say, but I'm gonna talk straight to you. You best get clear of that place. That family ain't okay. just some gang. They're a whole different kind of beast. They folks with real power. Ooh. Remnants of the good old boys who shaped America in the early days. Ah, uh, okay. I gotcha. Special <clears throat> head of the family, P.J. Clarkson. He's the kind of monster who goes around eating other monsters. There's always a bigger monster. And I'm sure he's on edge now with his granddaughter getting murdered and all. So don't go barging in with that shiny FBI badge of yours and think you'll be safe for nothing. Things are different down here. So if you plan on sticking around... I see. Oh, shit. Well, keep that in mind. Sorry. Accidentally hit the button. When you say it was like something from a TV show, what exactly <clears throat> do you mean? Hey, mister. Why do you look so excited, huh? Like a kid asking grandma to read him a fairy tale. I just can't seem to keep myself away from young women who died in bizarre ways. <laughs> Well, I ain't seen it with my own eyes, but folks say they found the body hanging under a bridge on the bayou. Mm. And under that bridge, there was some kind of altar. Oh. An altar? Like something they use in black magic. Something <clears throat> horrible. Voodoo? Nah. Wasn't nothing like that. Just a weird altar that's all oh and the body was all cut up in pieces scattered around the altar like so she was sacrificed that's what the fella who discovered her said yeah bingo zach this case has got our names all over it <laughs> live and let die angel heart and the Pelican Brief, right? Nine out of ten people will name those titles when you ask them to think of a film set in New Orleans. They're all excellent movies, but I don't to me, they lack realism. I think I know those movies. <clears throat> in my line of work, I have a tendency to think deeply about what feels real and what doesn't. What's your point? Cat people. That's my point. Cat people. <laughs> 1982. I've heard of Cat by People. Paul Schrader. The crowning achievement of Nastasia Kinski, the ultimate muse of the 80s. The most vital element of that movie is the reality it depicts. Leopards who turn into humans have intercourse with humans and turn back into leopards. <laughs> what? Then they can only turn I didn't back know that was a part of it. Again if they mutilate their lovers. I was awestruck by the sheer reality of it all. Understand? I'm talking about hyper-realism. <laughs> After watching it, I felt like I just had to experience the world of cat people for myself. That's why I decided to visit New Orleans. Uh, okay. <laughs> Poor David. Another vital element of cat people? What's up, Liza? Yeah? the presence of Malcolm McDowell. Malcolm McDowell from Blue Thunder. Oh, talk about a masterpiece. Listen carefully, David. Only an amateur would call A Clockwork Orange his best movie. His best movies are Cat People and Blue Thunder. Period. You need to remember this because it's the truth. Mm, whatever you say, mister. <laughs> so, uh, what's your point again? Never mind. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I already covered all the important parts. Oh, man. By the way, Mr. FBI, 
I ain't seen a car in the parking lot. How'd you get all the way out here, huh? Bus? Don't tell me you walked. Well, that's a very good question. Chef David, you've got a sharp eye. It's true that I didn't park my car in your parking lot. Do you know why? Can't say I do. Because it was stolen. <gasps> huh? I say Lamaze restaurant. But you with the FBI, right? Even FBI cars can be stolen. It could happen after you park your car on the side <coughs> of the road and go off Excuse to do me. some legwork. When you're eating lunch, when you're watching a movie, when you're asleep at night. When you're buying cigarettes at the local supermarket. Your car can be stolen anywhere. That's precisely what it means to be an FBI agent. In my case, my car was stolen while I was on my way down here. But no need to worry. I already reported it to the local authorities. And I've also already acquired another mode of transportation. Woo! Another mode? Want to hear the details? Not really. <laughs> but I'll listen if you want me to. Then please do. After I finished my work in Houston, I flew to oh, New Orleans. Oh, fuck. I love David. Then, I rented a car at the airport. Whenever I visit the West Coast, I always rent a convertible. Especially in California. But now I'm in hot and sticky Louisiana. So, I decided on a brand new hybrid car with a fully equipped air conditioning system. A hybrid car? Oh yes, they're marvelous. Vehicles that utterly defy everything you think you know about cars. Now, in the year 2005, it feels like we finally entered the 21st century. Stomp down on the gas all you want. The engine won't make a sound. It's silent? At first, I felt like the landscape was moving past me on its own. Give <laughs> it a few more years, and I'm sure we'll start seeing cars that run purely on electricity. And who knows? In a decade or so, Electric sports cars may end up lining the parking lots of Silicon Valley. I can see it now. It's the world of The Last Starfighter, 1984, directed by Nick Castle. It's famous for being the first film to utilize realistic CG. I did not know that about it. I couldn't it. care less about that. See, I was mesmerized by the beautifully refined mech designs. It even made me wish that I could be one of them myself. Especially the Gunstar spacecraft. No other sci-fi movie has ever had. So, uh, yeah, where'd your hybrid car get <laughs> Sorry, I got off topic. <laughs> I noticed it was missing after I finished my lunch and walked out of the diner. Oh, look at that omelet. An omelet, a potato, a lobster. I'm imagining some kind of a chowder. Probably clam chowder. I don't know what's in the middle of that plane. Incidentally, this diner was located at the entrance to a small town just south off the I-10. I went out to get back in it, but my hybrid car was nowhere to be found. I remembered exactly where I'd parked it, right between a blue pickup truck and a hedgerow. But when I came back from lunch, it had completely vanished. In short, <coughs> someone stole it. And in its place, they left me this. What? What? <laughs> You're kidding! Dude, hell yeah! A skateboard. A skateboard? Yes. While I was sliding my lunch into my stomach, someone <sighs> was busy me. replacing my brand new hybrid car with a wooden board attached to four wheels. Remarkable, don't you think? So then how did you get here? By riding the skateboard, obviously. Why do you look so surprised? <laughs> no, I couldn't ride the board very well at first. But by the time I hit the three mile mark, I'd more or less gotten the hang of it. By the 10 mile mark, I'd even learned to do a few tricks. Hell yeah. It was a journey of self-discovery. 
Oh my god, is this gonna be a skateboarding game as well? Because I'm totally down for that. Not even I knew I had this latent talent sleeping inside me. This summer's gonna be another hot one. It's supposed to get over 95 today. Watch out, you don't go get heat stroke. The least Clarkson case needs us. Don't you think so, Zach? The cat people are what guided us to New Orleans. <laughs> we Excuse should me. be thanking Malcolm McDowell. Once we get home, let's watch Blue Thunder again. <clears throat> I'm already looking forward to it. Aren't you, Zach? Zach. The searing light. Mm, these scents. It's the deep south. I can think of as little Nicky. <laughs> mm, that was a fabulous breakfast. You're the world's greatest chef. It's a hell of a breakfast, honestly. That might be oatmeal. Uh, wait, mister. You didn't take a single bite. Well, the tea was to die for. But I'd prefer coffee next time. What would a morning be without coffee? We're in for a wild ride once again. I'm excited. It feels pretty cool playing a Deadly Premonition game with not knowing where the fuck it goes. I can open the ca I didn't get to read that. Okay, return to York's room. Alright, now we can actually move around. Oh, okay. <laughs> Look at all this food. Oh, I want that bread. That is, look at this fucking cherry pie. I imagine it's cherry. Holy shit. Oh my god. Everything's so fucking huge. Is that pot? No. Okay. That is... Vision thing. Okay, we can punch. I don't want to accidentally punch someone. Whoa, what? I'm in the red room. Okay. Check out the stamp. Oh, okay. Items. Consumable. Key items. Okay. Inventory. Carry up to 30 items. Okay. Any item you discard will be lost forever. Rubber bullets. First aid kits. Cola. Feather cigarettes. Lollipops. I have this bug. It's like, just hitting my monitor. Okay. <clears throat> the fuck? Sorry, it sounded like my phone was like way off in the distance. Okay. Look at his shoulders. Two thousand five Zach or York was jacked. Okay.
What is this? Resident Evil? <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. Drink. Ooh, we got coffee. Hey, everything's reasonably priced in 2005. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. Ooh, we got a mirror. Okay. Cleaning in progress. Ooh. Not gonna lie, thought there were cats. Cats have pineapple. Oh, here's my room. on Rouge. We're chasing it all over America. Yes. Oh, I'm so happy they brought this song back. I feel like we're finally on the verge of finding something now. Don't... I think it's about time we ordered a new briefcase. Yes, I know this one carries a lot of memories, but it's seen too much. This holes from the shootout in Tucson. And this stains from Miami. Ah, uh, Miami. Now that was a fascinating case. Billy, our perp, cut his own torso, right? Even with the help of the drugs. A feat like that still requires incredible mental fortitude. I was so impressed that I forgot I'd left my briefcase on the floor. The same floor his blood gushed out onto. I know, Zach, I know. Now isn't the time for a trip down memory lane. Evidence organization start. An emergent drug that was on the rise in four southern states. Personally, I think it originated right here in Louisiana. At least Clarkson's murder must be connected to it somehow. The 16 year old girl that's who was super murdered. loud. Her body was found beneath a bridge over the bayou, along with a strange. Oh, Jesus. The powerful man who essentially controls the town of Zucari. And he seems to be more fearsome than your average gangster. I doubt he'll be willing to cooperate with any law enforcement, Zack. Woo! You know, I keep thinking about that movie we stopped to see on our way here, Zack. <clears throat> the Island, 2005, directed by Michael Bay. Oh my god. For a movie being shown at a cinema complex, it was surprisingly artistic. <laughs> An experimental setting mixed with hard-hitting drama. It was art house sci-fi. <laughs> that director's going to change the history of art house films. Oh my god. <laughs> York. Are you following me here? <laughs> this is another special <laughs> film that's setting a new standard, just like Star Wars and Blade Runner did. This is a turning point, Zach. York. You may be witnessing the birth of a vital new word that will soon become a part of film history. <laughs> York. Yes, this single movie may be responsible for creating a whole new genre several years down the line. A 
a genre known as island movies. I sure like the sound of that. Don't you, Zach? <laughs> York. Hate to tell you this, a lot of people probably forgot about that movie. Cause I know I did. He who knocks. Also, York, buddy, there's already a movie like it. If I remember the island correctly. I'm sorry, hold on, what the fuck? That is so fucking cool. Oh my god. Anyway. If I remember... I'm sorry, I know it's a picture of them kissing, but I thought there was like spit and drool just coming off of their chins. Anyway. 60. What the fuck? Um, what was I got? What was I saying? Oh, the island. If I remember the plot to the island correctly, I'm pretty sure there's already a movie called Parts to Clonus Horror, and it's exactly like it. Made years before. Sorry, we can shower. Due to the nature of our work, we've had to stay at hotels all over America. But Zach, do you know what I hate most about living out of a hotel? What? Shower pressure. Dude. True. The shower was invented so that human beings <laughs> could quickly bathe in large quantities of water, correct? Yet there are far too many hotels in our nation that have showers with embarrassingly weak water pressure. I agree. It's an outrage. And I'll keep tooting my horn about this every chance I get, believe you me. <laughs> Oh, we're actually taking a shower. Okay. Closet? Toolbox? I'm very satisfied with the decorations and the size of this closet, Zach. And it's even got a security box. Ooh. What else could a man ask for? It's proof that we're still safely inside the fringes of modern civilization. Hell yeah. Alright. Awesome. They kept the whole dirty and clean thing. Stylish brown. Alright. I mentioned this in my Animal Crossing video or stream earlier. I'm taking my time with this game. I flew right through Deadly Premonition 1 and missed out on a lot of great stuff. Like, you know, the side missions and stuff. But, uh, we're not doing that this time. I am taking my time with this game. Did that say... Okay. I thought it said episode 5. And I was gonna say how. Let's hey there, it. chef. What's cooking? Chef, what are you talking about, sir? I'm the concierge, David. What? I just heard from our chef that you wish to learn the meaning behind our town's name. Yes, Wait. I've gathered that the car is French, <laughs> but does it have any special meaning? Why, yes, sir. Of course it does. <laughs> A very clear, logical meaning. All names have meanings. Would you like to know what this one means? Yes, I would. <laughs> Jolly good, sir. So then allow me to lost. explain. <laughs> Lucare means square in French. Ah. And? <laughs> that's it. That's it? Yes, that's it, sir. Do you take a gander at the town map in the lobby if it fancies you. <laughs> it's beautiful, valuable, and old. Uh. I'm sure you'll understand once you see it. Now, please excuse me, sir. If you ever need anything, please don't hesitate to ask.
<laughs> Did you see that, Zack? <clears throat> it's clearly David. Not a twin, not a split personality. Just the work of a true professional. It's bizarre, but so it's like I can the uh, the it. sheriff from. Remember what they say. The uh, job Timberwood. Makes the man. Timberwood. Timberwell. Thimblewood. I don't know. I can't remember the name of that game. But I don't think Sam is here to help answer that question. I'm already loving this, by the way. Dozens of paintings no one will ever see. The faint scent of tobacco baked into these walls for over a century. Now that's what I call a hotel. Zach, can you see him? His fashion sense is beyond me, but he appears to be a gentleman. Perhaps we should talk to him. I love it. The buffalo? Or the painting? <laughs> Wait. What the Where's hell? I? Did you buy it here? It's been a long time since someone spoke to me. No one these days ever tries to see me. They can see what's far in the distance, but wow, what? what's in front of them. No. Maybe they're only pretending not to see. That's what civilized society does to people. Exactly. Ever since mankind got their hands on civilization, they zoomed away at a frightening speed. Zoomed away from what? <laughs> Don't be a fool. You know the answer. As for me, just call me Hoon God. Hoon God. Title given to a leader in a certain religion. Is that what you are? What? Religion hat, Zach. Here we go. Fell tin maidens in the shrine of hunger. I uh, <laughs> wow. find the flying serpent I'm in the completely speechless. I'm loving this. Dance with the flying serpent, and you will glimpse the other world. Ten maidens and an ambiguous zero. Got it. But what do you mean by other world? Follow the oracle. <laughs> I thought that was your Zach, laughing. Did you hear all that? Looks like we've already taken our first step into chaos. But such is our duty. We need to accept the chaos, let it inside, then carefully dismantle it piece by piece. And after we've put all the pieces back into their rightful places, the truth will reveal itself. Let's capture the truth and present it with a shiny pair of silver bracelets, Zack. <laughs> I don't know why I thought this wasn't going to be Fra Frankenstein became Dracula. Boris Bulls. Amazing. But yeah, I, I don't know why. I didn't think this was going to be as wild. Or I, I shouldn't say that. I was nervous that it was going to be 
like you know not as wild but holy shit very it's already knocked it out of the park I'm so excited What do we got for snacks? Lollipop? Ooh, butter cookie. Chocolate chip cookie and a donut. Two sixty for a donut? I haven't bought a donut for a long time. I don't remember if that's the usual price for it or what. Are you David as well? I will lose my shit. <laughs> Zach, this is Lucari. I think I'm finally starting to understand what our concierge was trying to say. You can tell this town was built by a very methodical person. No, wait. Maybe they just didn't care, and that's why it ended up this way. It's just another symbol of mankind's obsession with molding nature to fit our own rules. Okay. Map has been unlocked. Zach, what did you think of Hoongun's Oracle? Despite all the dramatic buildup, it's little more than a childish riddle. Heartwarming, really. Exactly the kind of feeling one gets from the good old fashioned countryside. Now let's start by tracking down those ten maidens. The Oracle gave us a place and an act. We need to go to the Shrine of Hunger and fell ten maidens. Now, where in this town can one satiate their hunger? The hotel and where? And the ten things that need to be knocked down. Simple, right? I mean, that's hunger. Bowling. The shape of the bowling pin was based on the feminine form. The what? Ten maidens are the ten pins. But a place where someone can both eat serious? and bowl at the same time. I'm where, skeptical where as to pin? whether we'll be able to find oh, some Alexis's lane. Yeah. in Lane. Hello. This is it, Zach. There are even pins in a bowling ball on the sign. I bet we'll be able to eat some oh, Cajun cuisine sorry. and bowl. Maybe even both at the same time. Nice job, Zach. I knew you'd be able to find it. Now for the other oracle. Mm -hmm. There's no flying serpent on this map. Oh. Could it be a contrail or perhaps a dragon? I'm sure we'll find out later. First, let's just figure out where we need to go. Do you know what the ambiguous zero represents? Zero is usually treated as a base number, but under what conditions would a base number be ambiguous? <coughs> the answer is temperature, Zach. Yes, zero degrees Fahrenheit is minus 17.7 7 degrees Celsius, <laughs> and zero degrees Celsius is 32 degrees Fahrenheit. You'd be hard pressed to find a more amp. The Cooks and Food Delivery Services Cold yeah, Storage we'll Warehouse. That's got to be it. Even with this blazing sun in the sky, they can easily keep the temperature below freezing. Be honest now, Zach. You knew the answer from the very start, didn't you? Hmm, kind of. I got 15 bucks for that. And how about 15 that bucks, guy, little that man, mysterious that character? His oracles man. may end up determining how much time we spend in this town. Sorry, boss, but this is a smoke-free hotel. <laughs> what the fuck? If you're dying of smoke, head out the entrance and you'll find a smoking area in the rear parking lot. Don't tell me. You're the best. your service, boss. <laughs> oh my god. 
good friends with the concierge and the chef? Eh, uh, we work at the same place, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I can't really say whether we're good friends with each other. We're all professionals, though. <laughs> nothing more, nothing less. I love how he's like, cow talking like Bugs Bunny. You struck gold here, Zach. It just <laughs> screams deep south, actually. No, it doesn't. This is all his charm. So, if I want to smoke, I should go out the entrance and around to the rear parking lot? Bada bing, bada boom. Oh my okay. god. I'll play by your rules. I love him. I fucking love him so much. I fucking love David may be my favorite character. <laughs> Look at that, I like that. That's a cool painting. Whether it's a restaurant or a hotel, the key to charming your customers is how you present your bathroom. I'm sure you feel the same way, don't you, Zach? Now this. This is the kind of bathroom a person can really get excited about. <laughs> it might even trump the one we saw in that drug dealer's house in Austin. <laughs> Jeez. Remember? The art piece on display in there utilized the natural curves of human ribs in such a novel way. It was truly brilliant. Was it? Damn. Ah, huh. Wait a minute. What the fuck? I don't know. <laughs> Just gonna leave it be. How do I run? Okay. Ooh. Oh, hell yeah, the York. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I don't know how to run. Oh, that's how we crouch. Din, din, din. We always strive to Damn provide it. our guest with the finest of service, sir. Our humble bucolic town does have its inconveniences. Shopping in particular can be a bit of a slog. Therefore, we decided to provide a modest selection of daily necessities right here at our very own front desk. Great. Sounds convenient. <coughs> exactly. Ooh. What do you got? Nothing I want. Middle cigarettes, heavy cigarettes. Okay. Suntan lotion. We can get a tan. Gum gets rid of our BO. That's fucking incredible. We can camp outside. Adhesive cleaner. Oh, <laughs> no shit. Anti numb. Okay. All right. Interesting. Okay. Huh. So wait. Serving you is my greatest we have to pleasure, eat. sir. Please I just do let realize me know we have if to there eat is this. any other way for me to and possibly even sleep. Okay. Oh, what's over here? Title screen. Map. Journal. What was in the journal? Right. Okay. 
Whoa, hold up. That splits. Okay, alright, I see what's going on. Got it. Okay. Wait, I'm sorry. Holy fuck. In this menu, it looks like there's people hanging from the tree. That was really. That's really fucking trippy. Maybe it won't tell us now. Let's go speak to, uh, Bellboy, David. Hey, you boss. How can I be of service? <laughs> oh, did, does he mean like the bathroom in our room? I keep trying to run. I think this is our run. Yeah, he might be talking about our bathroom. Excuse me. Oh my god. I'm so excited to play this, but I'm like also getting tired. I'm gonna try to set up my desk tomorrow. How's everyone doing? Hope everyone's doing good and staying healthy and safe. <coughs> Game is suddenly struggling. Compared to non-smokers, smokers have a 4.7 times greater chance of getting lung disease. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? You know that means it's more likely than getting asbestos poisoning? The risk of death from lung cancer is actually much lower than what you think it is. In fact, it's tiny when compared to heart disease, strokes, and pneumonia. We're always surrounded by easy ways to die, you know. Some people even get randomly struck by lightning and die right there on the spot. Then I reckon you also know that secondhand smokers have 1.3 times greater the risk compared to smokers? Of course. So you won't mind paying the damages when I die of lung disease? How about <laughs> writing that in a contract for me? You got a pen, right? What the fuck? <laughs> I promise to protect you from all the evil in our world. Well, that's stupid. By the way, what's your name? <laughs> FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please, just call me York. That's what everyone calls me. Um, 
Is something wrong with you? Adults ain't supposed to act like that. I only asked for your name so I can write it on the contract. You should have been able to figure that out if you're a real FBI agent like you said. Come on, sign here. Right here on the paper. Oh my god, I love her. She's great. Just as I thought, Zack. This contract paper, it's a San Rouge wrapper. San Rouge is here, too. This must mean oh, that San shit. Rouge is connected to the Lee's Clarkson murder case somehow. This is a sprawling case that spread across the entire South. It's within our jurisdiction, Zack. We'll need to steal the right to investigate from the local authorities at once. By the way, miss, what's your name? Patricia Woods. But I gotta write my name myself, or else it won't be a real signature. <laughs> she is fantastic. Tell me, Patricia, does this town have a sheriff, or is it under the jurisdiction of the nearest city police? Perfect timing. Well, go on and steal it if you want it. I was just thinking about how this is way out of my daddy's league. Thank you for the information, Patricia. Okay, Zach, it's time to get to work. How should we seize control from the sheriff this time? Oh boy. Run-ins are. Okay, I was trying that, but... Oh, maybe I can't run inside. Okay. R is to also dodge. Interesting. Yeah, okay. Wow, this is really choppy. Wait, is this song what I think it is? Wait, I don't even... I thought I could hear a song, but I guess not. <laughs> Hey there. So, uh, you're the fella from the FBI I've been hearing so much about. Yeah. I'm Mel. They call me the sheriff around here. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan? Hell yeah. But call me York if you can. That's if what you everyone can. calls me. <laughs> huh? <laughs> well, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Mr. York. How's that sound? Fine by me. <laughs> I'm sure you figured this out, <laughs> but our town's a small one. Yeah, folks are already busy spreading gossip about how some FBI agents come to town. He's so loud. Now, uh, now I read that you came <clears throat> from the city. Excuse me. What was it? D.C., L.A., or New York? Anywho, in the city, <laughs> it's normal not to know who your neighbor is. Fella who moves in next to you could cook up a dozen folks in his backyard, and no one would bat an eye. That's the city for you. Now, I never lived in one myself, but I visited him a few times, so I know what it's like. All pigs must die in the city of wolves. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah! Now, does that sound badass or what? I bet you... <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, CLG. I'm just trying to make a little small talk, that's CLG. all. CLG. Anywho, around these parts, everyone knows each other. What does other's CLG name. mean? So lots of folks get leery when they see an étranger like you. And since it's my duty to protect the town, I thought I'd stop by and say hello. Zach, it looks like this sheriff is quite the happy-go-lucky type. A clear indication of just how peaceful this town is. <laughs> Melvin, about the Lee's Clarkson case. I knew you were here for that case. Can't put one past the FBI. <clears throat> so they even got eyes on the smallest of towns like us, huh? Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Our world is filled with information, and it's all within their grasp. <laughs> FBI. The Federal Bureau of Investigation. Oh, does he want to be like a movie or a director or something? 
The Lee's Kirksen <clears throat> case is connected to a top secret case that we've... I know, I know. If you're fixing to take the lead, <laughs> then go right ahead. I'm just wow, he's totally of a for tiny us. Little town. My jobs are to Excuse stop me, my neighbor from beating the piss out of each other and listen to old folks complain. Honestly, this whole murder case has been weighing me down. So I'm going to give you my full cooperation, Mr. Special Agent, sir. Well, Zach, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> I didn't even get to use my secret <laughs> weapon. What's up, honey? Melvin, there's a cold storage warehouse. I'm going to have to move that table town, back. There? I'd like to get permission to enter. It's all good. Say I love what? You, you want to see where the body's being kept, right? Oh, I get it now. Lisa's body, yeah, yeah. Now, uh, excuse that's me, by the way. I call a special agent. You already figured that much out. Mm. Drinking water on an uh, empty stomach just sucks. I'm not too sure <clears throat> that uh, going down there at this point is really gonna help much. You know? Just can't stop belching when I do so. Explain it yourself, Daddy. That's incredible. I don't believe this. Amazing. Did you hear that, Zach? They put the body in a cold storage warehouse. This is fantastic. <laughs> Insanely fantastic. R really? <laughs> well, uh, how about that? <laughs> <laughs> well, all right then. I'll head on down to the warehouse ahead of you and make sure we get permission to search it. Sounds good. The management company only keeps the warehouse <clears throat> open during certain hours. So you'll have to come during those hours. I ain't looking to create any further disturbances. So be on time. Got it? Come on, let's roll, CLG. I'm going to walk home, Daddy. I still got another stop to make. Oh, if you say so, sweetie. <laughs> She's a real sharp one, as you can see. So I try to stay out of her way. Well, all right then, York. <laughs> I I'll love, see you at the warehouse. I love. I fucking love this game already. From what I hear, it's been getting mediocre reviews. <clears throat> and, you know, of course, I was expecting that. Map. <gasps> I can zoom in. And? Oh my god. Thank you. Thank you for doing this. Oh. I'm so happy about that. So, how do we skateboard? You gonna be good? Guess. Peace out, Patricia. Hey, you. You ain't secretly cutting kids <coughs> up and sticking them into jars while you work as an FBI agent on the surface, are you? The fuck? Or... Using your FBI connections to sell kids to child trafficking organizations? I've arrested people who've done both, but I've never engaged in either of those activities myself. Of course, I have imagined doing such things in order to learn more about the psychology of the criminals I deal with. It was just a joke. Why are you getting all serious? <laughs> don't tell me what you imagine. Or else I'll get scared of you for real. Hey. Can I come with you? You signed a contract with me, remember? Butt. And besides, I'm kind of worried about my daddy. Do whatever you like. This is America, land of the free. Uh, well. But I have one condition. What condition? Don't ask me about Zach. It's a private matter. Zach, it feels like she's carrying something with her. Got a contract? Kind of reminds me of you back when we first met. I can't leave her alone like this. Excuse me. 
You feel the same way, don't you? Okay. Got it. When a location is closed, it will be grayed out. By the way, Patty, what do you usually do when you're at home? Is this an interrogation? <laughs> oh, no. I just figured that since we're working together now, it'd be a good idea to learn a little more about you. Should an adult male like you really be asking a little girl this kind of question? <laughs> I feel like I heard a story about this sort of thing on the news once. There's a time and a place for everything. You know exactly who I am, and I've also introduced myself to your father. Besides, you're the one who said you wanted to come with me. I was just kidding, jeez. You're an FBI special agent. Why would I ever need to worry? You shouldn't automatically trust someone just because they're an FBI special agent. True. One's profession and one's personality are completely separate things. I don't know if I can open For this example, while they're talking. One special agent may fall spiritually in love with a genius criminal who enjoys the taste of human flesh. That's Hannibal. You pulled that straight out of a movie. Just because it's a film doesn't mean it isn't deeply rooted in reality. You can't judge people solely based on where they work or how they look. You need to think hard and decide things for yourself. Why the pointing? Fine. Seriously. So, allow me to ask you this. How do you feel okay. about me? I don't know. I only just met Look you. quality plate. <laughs> exactly. Now it sounds like you're thinking. You should never feel the need to force an answer out or pretend like you know something you don't. Zach, she's a good kid, yes. isn't she? Honest and straightforward. Oh, wait, there's one thing I can say. Oh. This frame what? rate. When you talk to yourself like that... It really creeps me out. Did you start doing that after you became an adult? Or have you just always done it? Either way, you should stop doing it. It's really <laughs> weird and like, makes me wince Whoa, whenever I hear teleported. it. Ooh, Zach, did you hear that? No need to worry. Neither of us are weird, I can assure you of that. She's probably just having trouble finding the right word to describe us. No, I think I'll stop there. Wouldn't want her to think we're getting desperate. Like I said, it's really creeping me out. What is this? Why is there a red balloon here? Oh my god. David. I love you. Holy shit. I'm loving this so much. Alright. I hate to do this, but I am getting tired. I'm gonna go ahead and save and call it a night. Cause I can just feel myself just fucking, you know, falling asleep. I'm so excited to play this. Oh my god, I think that was a good little first look. Th this is exactly what I was hoping for. So. Yeah. I am definitely playing more of this tomorrow at some point. So, thank you so much for watching, everyone. I love you. Stay safe, stay healthy. Be excellent to each other. There's something floating in the air. Don't know what the hell that is. Alright. I love it. Goodbye.